the great scholar Al-Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah, was passing by the marketplace in Basra, Iraq, and he hears people calling others to come purchase their products. And in particular, he hears one man with buckets of ice. And this man says, O people, have mercy on the one whose capital is melting away. The man is trying to urgently, quickly sell his ice before it melts away. This is a famous story. Al-Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah, starts to think of time. Imagine you and I, we had a sense of urgency to use our time wisely before it melted away, like this man was using his time wisely to sell his ice before it melted away. Do you have a sense of urgency with your time or are you reckless with it? Do you allow it to disappear? We consist of time, hours and days and minutes and seconds, and for some people years and decades. Once an hour passes, it doesn't return. It doesn't return until the day of judgment to testify for or against you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in the Quran, in Surah At-Tawbah, Inna Allah has shtara min al-mu'minina. Allah has purchased from the believers anfusahum wa amwalahum bi anna lahum al-jannah. Their lives and their wealth in exchange for paradise. You're using your time in this world, whether it's 20 years or it's 120 years, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your wealth, and as you use your time for the sake of Allah, there's a return on your investment. The return on that investment is Allah will grant you Jannah. For how long? How much time do you get in Jannah for worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It's eternal. And so you can see, obviously, that the most reasonable thing for any one of us to do is to use this time, limited time that you have, as wisely as possible for an investment that is eternal in nature. When you think of how society protects things, and the way that there are security measures for things that people value, for example, with banks and security at banks, with pieces of art and jewelry around the world, the types of security that you hear about or you see, and so on and so forth, people protect things that they value. And oftentimes, for example, when you value your life, you're going to take measures to protect your life. When you value your home, you might put an alarm system, for example, to protect your home. Because you value that thing, you protect it. The question is, do we protect our time? There are many things around us that we protect in society, many material things. But do we protect our time? Are we very cautious? Or do you allow anyone and anything that wants your time to take your attention away, to kill your time, to waste it, the most precious blessing that we have? It was reported once that a righteous scholar on his way to the mosque, to the masjid, to pray, was stopped by a man who was known to waste a lot of time. And the man said something along the lines of, can we go and kill time or let's go and kill time? This might be translated as let's go kill time, let's go chill for a few hours. In other words, let's go just waste time. And the scholar responded back to him and said, can you hold the sun for me? Meaning, can you stop time so that I can kill time? When you say I'm killing time and you think I want to kill time, in other words, you're saying I'm killing a part of myself because you consist of time. Do you protect your time? Do you value your time for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Wisdom necessitates that the believer is protecting the most precious thing that they have. And if you were to be asked, what is the purpose of life? Why do you exist? Hopefully your response is based on reality. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created us, told us why we exist. The one who created death and life in order to test you, to see who's best in their conduct. It's all about your good deeds. It's all about the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the pleasure of Allah, the pursuit of paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that. So if you know what the purpose of life is, the question is, how do you attain it? How do you facilitate it other than through your time? So you must, to protect the purpose of life, you must be protecting your time. And yet, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ni'matani, two blessings. Ni'matani maghboonun fihima kathirun min nas as-sihhatu wal faraq good health and free time. And think about the example of the one, maybe yourself, family member or others, when they fell ill or they went through a severe illness, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and grant us shifa and our loved ones around the world. But when that person fell through or experienced a type of illness, they wished for their energy to come back so they could worship once again. They wished they could do things like they had not done before, the time that they had wasted. When they had good health, they wasted that opportunity and that energy, and now they are regretting it, and it's not coming back to them, as well as free time. Use your time wisely before you have more responsibilities, before things get more difficult. 
generally speaking, for the believer. There isn't time to waste. There isn't time to kill. There's no such thing as I'm bored. I have nothing to do. There's always something to do with the limited time that you have. But you must first value it in order for you to protect it. There's a beautiful quote from a scholar. And I'm taking only two parts of this quote. But he said, uh, essentially, know that your mind cannot contain everything. So dedicate it to the most important of matters. Your mind consumes many things. You are exposed to many things every day. Now, if you're someone, for example, who uses uh, any digital devices or accesses the internet on a daily basis, you're exposed to many things every single day. You're exposed to media, you're exposed to the things you watch, the videos, movies, entertainment, TV shows, the books that you're reading, whatever it may be. You're uh, exposed to social media, you're exposed to the news in general, you're exposed to your work, your career, your studies. Choose wisely the most important of matters because your mind cannot consume everything. And you have to choose the things that are prioritized, the things that are important, the things that are beneficial. If you're wasting a lot of time, for example, on fiction, on things that are uh, fake, the things that are uh, useless, the things that don't have value and may even have doubtful or prohibited matters within them, ask yourself the following question. Does it make sense for a person to spend an hour, two hours, three hours every single day, every day of the year, watching uh, characters and watching people pursue their false or fake uh, dreams through these movies and TV shows while you're killing your time, not pursuing your dream for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not pursuing your purpose in life. Know that your mind has limitations. You cannot take in everything. You cannot do everything. So dedicate it to the most important of matters and know that your day and your night are limited and you have uh, some essential needs. So make sure that you are managing the times of rest and the times of activity for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.